In this episode, guys, we're going to take a look at how to do two different weapon effects, including plasma glow and some muzzle burn. Anvil of War! Rick's Hobby Hut! Welcome back to the studio guys and in this episode we are going to be painting two simple weapons effects including plasma glow and some muzzle burn. So this video is not going to be split up into two parts like I usually do because of the fact that uh, both pieces, the, the steps leading up to the variations are completely the same. So uh, we're just going to get right into this and using my favorite metal uh, from Vallejo Game Air which is Chainmail Silver. I almost forgot it for a second there. Uh, and I'm just going to be basing the piece straight out. Once the chainmail silver base coat is dry, we're going to start creating that barrel burn on the assault can. Now for this, you're going to need the uh, Arctic Blue uh, from the Vallejo Metallics Airline. And I'm going to be taking that. I'm going to just be sp spraying the middle portion of the assault cannon. Uh, you don't want, don't spray the tips, because in the next step is where we're going to add the transition for that. Now, if you don't have an airbrush for this step, you can go ahead and dry brush it in as well. It won't look as smooth, but you can still achieve the same effect by doing that. <laughs> Once that's dry, I'm going to take my Vallejo game ink, uh, which is purple in this instance, and we're going to start creating the next level in the heat scale just on the front of the barrel. And just go ahead and spray that on. Be very cautious with it. Like I said, with inks in the past, they, they tend to run if you are not careful. Now, if you don't have a um, an ink in this instance, but you have a purple metallic paint, you can go ahead and dry brush that as well. Now that that ink is dry, we've basically completed the effect that I'm going for. It is literally that simple for creating this effect. Um, but we will be adding just a little bit of uh, accents onto it in the next, next few steps. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to base both the struts on the struts and mounting bits on the assault cannon for uh, in corn red, as well as the little armor bits on the front of the plasma cannon. Once that's based in corn red, I'm going to go ahead and just paint a few little metallic bits uh, on the front of the plasma cannon as well as the bottom of that little cord there. And what I'm going to be using for that is I'm just going to be using Hashut Copper. So go ahead, base that in. Once all the metallic is dry from the hashtag copper, we're going to go ahead and wash both the 
uh, plasma cannon as well as the assault cannon in Nolan Oil, just to get give it a little bit more definition. <laughs> Once I was finished with the Nuln Oil, I went back and I used Necron Compound just to brighten up the metallic areas once again, as well as the barrel on the Assault Cannon. You just want to put it, do a little bit of a dry brush on that, create a little bit of a scratch effect uh, and a little bit of more of a shine, bring back a little bit of that shine to it. <laughs> Once finished with the dry brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just create the red detail or add in the definition to the red details. And for that, I'm gonna be using uh, Evil Sun Scarlet for the first layer and for the final highlight, I will be using Wild Rider Red. Now with the Evil Sun Scarlet, I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, layer it out on my palette and just give it a little bit of a glaze uh, consistency to it. Add a little bit of water, just like I do in all my other videos along with all my red as make it very thin and glaze it in very nice and light. While I'm doing this, I'm going to also add in uh, the edge highlights with the, uh, the Evil Sun Scarlet. Just uh, do a little bit of an edge highlight with a thicker, not a glaze consistency, but an actual layer consistency. Once that's finished, I'm going to go in and do one final highlight with the Wild Rider Red. Just on the edges, I'm not going to glaze it in in any places, I just want the edges to pop a little bit more. Now that the red is done, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do the little nubbin on the front of the assault cannon as well as the muzzle brake. Just put a little bit of the chainmail silver in there and give it a little bit of a null oil wash. Once you let that dry, we're going to go ahead and do my tried and true method of doing uh, battle damage. We're just going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to be taking my P3 black, you can use whatever black you want, uh, along with my chainmail silver once again. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little piece of a sponge. It's the little packaging material from the old blister packs that I still have lying around. Cut a piece of that off, dip it in the black, dip mo dab most of it out of, on my paper towel, and just start dabbing the tip a little bit. With that, the assault cannon is done. Now that the assault cannon is done, we can finish off the plasma cannon. Now to create this effect, I'm going to be using first off is my Vallejo Game Ink uh, Green, 
And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be lightly uh, over spraying around the plasma coils just to create that under shadow of the color. And again, this is why I like inks. Everything that you paint underneath still comes through. So you're still getting the effect of the, the paint job underneath as well as the metallics. You're just getting that shadow of the color or of the light coming around it. Once that ink is dry, we're going to go in and take a dry brush, moot green, and some white. I have Vallejo Game White. Like I said before in previous videos, you can use whatever white you have on hand. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the dry brush, dip in the moot green, rub off as much as we can, get it nice and dry. Hope I like it on my hand the way I tested it on my, I'm on my glove there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to create the uh, raised ripples on the coils as well as dry brush over that red kind of shielding that we have on the front. And what you're doing is you're kind of just drawing it out uh, around and creating that light effect just around uh, the plasma coil. And it's creating that kind of almost an OSL effect. Now you want to add in a little bit of white and we're going to create a paler moot green and we're going to just do basically the top of the coils uh, just to create that more of a glow uh, centering at the top and in the center of that actual coil. With that, this plasma can is complete and ready to be mounted on my models. Bye! That does it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you picked up uh, a few tips on how to do some weapons effects and you're going to add that to your arsenal. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe and keep your paint on the palette. Thank you.